Hey, so we're gonna do some PC Engine Mini gameplay videos. Uh, and a few thoughts. So, enjoying this a lot. Uh, a couple of things to note. I've tried some third party joy pads, USB pads on this. Uh, one of them I tried was the Buffalo Famicom pad. Uh, USB, that didn't work. Directions or buttons. And a couple of others, no dice at all. So, out of the ones I've got, I can only use the PC Engine pad. The included PC Engine pad does work on Windows 10. It comes up and installs as PC Engine Pad. I tried it with an emulator quickly and it works fine. So that is great. But as for now, we are going to do some gameplay. So let's start with the big hitters. This is Dracula X, AKA Castlevania. Let's have a go. We've got the scan lines on, we've got the picture as big as it goes. One thing about this game, uh, I don't know if they're full of first time, but it was one of the first Cosmanias, I think we could go different routes, but we'll go to stand one. Thank 
cool. So, right, you can see that runs pretty swell. Let's try something else. Now, I do like the PC Engine menu music, but while I mute it a sec, I think I prefer the Turbo Graphics music. Uh, right, let's try out. Let's do another big hitter, Splatterhouse. Hey, we're in. So in the arcade version of this, you used to, there was a bit more to the intro here. You used to see Rick and his girlfriend, Rick's the protagonist, running up to the house. But little did they know, the house is full of absolute doom. And so Rick gets possessed by the mask and his girlfriend's kidnapped. Blah, blah, blah. Apart from that, maybe 5% downgrade in the graphics, but this... You know, people go on about the FM Towns version uh, being the best. Turn it down a bit. People go on about the FM Town, uh, FM Towns version being the best of Splatterhouse, but PC Engine version absolutely superb. I mean, also, when did this come out? Is this 1988, 89, maybe 90 at the latest for PC Engine? It is a pretty outstanding achievement. I think that was one of the main appeals was. After the, after the NES, suddenly the PC Engine was offering you very close to the arcade. You know, obviously, Mega Drive and Super Nintendo beefed up a bit, particularly Mega Drive was quite close to the arcade in particular, at times, but PC Engine was really the first time you're like, wow, games like Vigilante and this, they look just like the arcade game. Which, you know, if you want to recall, in the early days, well, in the time that these consoles were out, that was the main thing. Were they like the arcade games? That's all like it is now, is it? Now, definitely out of touch. I used to be able to get way into this game without even taking a hit. And Dracula X there, but you know, we'll, we'll get it all back. All in good time. Bit of grossness. Cool. Right, so I think on the on the uh, American and English version of Turbo Graphics, the Splatterhouse version is censored, and you've got the red mask. Something of note. One thing missing from the Japanese one is Salamander, which which is a Konami shooter that does appear on the other systems. Uh, right. We're gonna give a go. We're seeing Dracula. Uh, should we have a look. What's happening in Turbo Graphics world? Let's hear the cool music as well. Let's just bathe in that for a sec. Here we go, Bonk's Revenge, or PC Kid slash PC Genjin, however you want to say it, Gengin. Uh, PC Engine's very own mascot. This is the second game in the, se in the series. So, I don't know how it's coming out on the camera, but the, the scan lines sometimes look a bit janky. I think, yeah, they don't look too bad. I think when you're sitting back on your sofa, they actually look all right. No probs. I certainly prefer this to the uh, pixelated, uh, I mean, we're, we're playing this on a plasma, but you know what I mean? That sort of up -res pixelated look is not for me. You know, I like the CRT look, if we can get anything close to it. Oh, Jesus H. Thank you. 
<laughs> I'm being a dick. You should be able to chain those buggers with your headbutts. So as you can, well, hopefully as you can see, the emulation, the, the you know, the video quality sound, the sound is sound. Come on, PC Engine run out for shoot up shoot ups. We've got to give you a little bit of soldier blade. Just a word on this series, so you get like Superstar Soldier, Final Soldier, then Soldier Blade. You know, I would even put Gunhead in the series. I don't know why. I always thought that Gunhead was part of the series, but whatever. Anyways, or Blazing Lasers as you call it. My favourite is Final Soldier, you know, purely on nostalgia because I had it in the day. But one thing about Soldier Blade, when the levels get a bit later on, well, around the third level, you notice that, that it is... A bit more high tech now in the games. You start getting uh, bombers that come in and drop things. They drop mines. You get like tanks coming in from the sides. It's just a bit more involved. And a great game. So in shooting games, I always favour the Vulcan, as you, you might call this, always the red one, or the blue laser, you always get a blue laser. Never a fan of the fire weapons, usually the yellow or the green. You know, what is what are the green ones in video games? They're usually like a sort of arc, aren't they? Let's get a blue in. Some sort of laser arc, but you know, I like this sort of straight laser. I'm taking some hits here, which I'm not pleased about. I'm trying to chat and talk. Plus, also not a pro gamer, but you know, we certainly enjoy. There's our buddies. Take one for the team. Chicken shit. Cool, okay. Can't get enough of that music. So, Let's have a quick word about the games lineup. Are there things missing? Yeah, of course there are. I mean, Alien Crush, cool pinball game, but really, Devil Crash, or Devil Crush, however you want to call it, the sequel is much better. The music's better, it looks better, it's much more involved. What a great game. Alien Crush is cool, but get a grip. Needed Devil Crash on here. 
Um, Motorola, never been a good game. Pal Golf, blah, blah, blah. You know, Victory Run. Chu Man Fu, now this is one that should be included. One of my favorite puzzle games. Uh, I just love the music. If we just get it on for a sec. So this is like a puzzle game where you roll balls onto colored squares, basically. It's called B-Ball in Japan. Pretty cheap game. I just love this music though. There's something sort of like oriental. I don't know. It's really cool though. Listen. get the idea. I don't know what it is about that music. It's sort of intoxicating. Love it. So Jojo and Jeff, that American version is censored compared to the Japanese Kato and Ken. Uh, so Ninja Spirit, that should have been it. Psychosis, not the best shooter. That's a strange choice. Now the Space Harrier, you know, PC Engine Space Harrier, I'm not sure that was the best version in the world. I mean, it is good. I was playing it a minute ago. It, it is fun. It's a nice version, but you know, these days you're better off playing it on the Saturn or I'm sure there's newer versions. Maybe the Switch has got one or the Wii Virtual Console, I'm sure. All right, let's get back to the LPC engine. Uh, one thing they're missing here, there's no Valis games. Now, uh, Valis action platformer, you know, you, you can get a couple of Valis games on other systems, but there was four on the PC Engine. And NCS or Mosea, no, was it? Oh no, it was Renovation, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, okay. So, I'm just surprised none of them are on here. Not even one, considering that there are four games on the PC Engine CD. Yeah, who made those? Renovation, Riot. So, uh, do you want to see how bad I am at Ghouls and Ghosts? So this is a super graphics game. Maybe this will be the last one we do. See how you feel. So I've got the Mega Drive version. Listen, these two are very close. This game just makes me panic. You know, so it should. <laughs> it's like the pad's brand new. Uh, it's a little bit not stiff, but wow, well, yeah, stiff. Can't quite get the quick turns in yet. It's going to be fine, but it just needs a little, just needs a little bit of time. Shit. Yeah, Oh shit, <laughs> I get the idea. So what we're showing you, we've got some CD-ROM games on. Um, had a Super Graphics game, had American games, Japanese games. Oh, we're gonna squeeze one little last one in. Yeah, the Kung Fu. Again, great intro music, yeah. <laughs> Get attacked by flying rocks or just solidified turds. Up to 
chunk is it? Yeah, come on. Oh, I got killed by the... <laughs> whatever the fuck those were. Give me a break. Have I been hit by everything that's come past so far? I also really like a game like this called uh, Golden Fighter on the Super Nintendo. You know, Golden Fighter was almost like a spiritual successor in its sort of crapness but excellent at the same time. Go and find another game that's got great graphics and great music like this one, but, you know, as a game itself, suspect. So, I think that'll do us for gameplay. Until next time.